What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, guys, some of these people here on the internet um, are bullies, all right? And, you know, some people come on here and they give their opinions, go to the next topic, but some people are bullies in... There are some folks who are actually afraid of certain content creators. Um, I can tell you that personally. And I'm going to give an example of one person right now. Tasha K. At least at one point. There was a point that when Tasha K, if she would get on your case, you you would be scared as hell, right? And, and I remember uh, when, when, when Kevin told me he was going to Tasha K's interview. Which was a wonderful interview, and um, he was not scared of anything. But he he did mention to me that listen, <laughs> you know, it's better that I go to this interview um, and not cancel for fear of, you know, how she might harass me. He's like, I could ignore, her, but look, you know, let me just go ahead on and address it now. We're bump- in Atlanta to be a great interview before she starts, you know, trying to scandalize me. And, and they ended up being actually very, you know, very friendly, very cordial. And um, let me tell you about what happened with Derek Jackson. She offered Derek Jackson an interview. He said no. Once he said no, she was on his ass. Okay. Now, with that being said, Tasha K became a bully. R. Kelly bullied him, Derek Jackson. Tried to bully Cardi B. And then we found out that she wasn't as tough as we thought she was. Right? I was actually shocked. You know, because even for me, I'm like, man, you know, Tasha K, ain't nobody wanted to mess with. I mean, because she had all these people that got all these receipts. It seemed like she just had crazy info, all of this. I mean, it's just, it, it's ridiculous, right? But then we saw Tasha K become so human. Getting roasted up all the time getting cooked all the time, you know, running away, being unaccountable. And, you know, she's not this tough person that everybody thought she was. You know, we thought she was a real tough person. It come to find out, it ain't ain't nothing too tough about her. And she is the person yelling for accountability, but she's the most unaccountable person that she ever wanted to meet. And how do we know this? Because now she's begging steel. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. When it came to Cardi B losing that settlement, she went bankrupt. She went over to Africa. She did everything but pay the money. And what is she doing now? Talking about she can pay Cardi B $220,000. Okay. Then let me back up. When she filed for bankruptcy, that debt wasn't forgiven. <laughs> okay. It wasn't forgiven. She was trying everything to do but run. It's 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 funny to see a bully running, right? She's running. But now, let's get back to the whole point. She's offering her two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Cardi B is like, hell to the no. No, we're not. Now, at the same time she's doing this, she's beefing with Tony the Closer. She's beefing with Tina Knowles, Wack 100, Sukiyana, Just Hilarious. Uh, What's the one person that she had? She had a beef with the transgender community. Um, I forgot the person's name here that she's beefing with. She's beefing with uh, every goddamn body. Okay? Everybody you can think of. Everybody but the ones, T.S. Madison, she beefing with everybody but the folks that she owe money to. And now, look at you. We can find out how immature, like we can talk about Derrick Jackson all day, right? We know Derrick Jackson ain't shit. But man, the thing about Derrick Jackson is he took his beating in style. 
he took it like a man. You know, he he's a he's an F boy for sure. But one thing I like about him, he took his career ending injuries like a man. He never cursed Tasha K out. He never called her a B word. He didn't. He took his shit like a man. That's you got to give him props. He took his ass open like a man. He literally, she literally ruined that man's completely career. Took it down. Bye, bye. He fucked it up. But again, he took it in stride. I like that about the brother. But Tasha K. Oh, no. See, that's one time. You know, I'm going to be honest. That's the big difference between men and women. A lot of men can take it. Women tend to not take it. She's doing everything she can do. Like a little girl. Being immature. Not being a woman. And paying the money. When you know you did it. And let me just tell you this. Let me just say this. I want to I wanna say this as black men. We have a lot of, of, of people in our community parading around like pretend women. You no, know, I'm not talking about nobody trans and like that. I'm talking about pretend women who are really have the bodies of ladies, but going around acting immature like little girls. We have that a lot. And no matter what they do, they don't never want to be accountable for their outcomes. No matter how wrong they are, no matter if they started the problem, no matter what they're doing in the problem, it, it, it's, 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 they have to somehow, you know, dust it up. And this is what is holding a lot of the brothers back because there's so many Tasha K's out there that's going around here, playing around, raising hell, making mistakes, roaring in their life. I told you, most ladies, that you have probably dealt with, man. Just leave them to their own devices. You'll see where they end up. They playing games. They always losing at the game they playing. Going around here playing all the time. And whoever close to them, their life is going to also be in that way as well. Just keep living. I'm, I'm trying to tell you what I know. And the immaturity is on 5,000. At what point do you start to be an actual woman and get a hold of this and step up to the fire you created, boo? Stop talking about what these black men ain't doing, what Tina Knowles ain't doing, what Jess Hilarious ain't doing. No, 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 no. Step up to the plate. Stop beefing with Tony the Closer. Stop talking behind folk back and deal with it like a woman. Go ahead and pay this lady her money. Don't try to offer two hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars because you you didn't mind monetizing when you were spreading false news about her. No, you lost the you lost the stuff. Go ahead on the payer. Stop running. You see, and that's what a lot of black men are dealing with. People that are Tasha K minded. How are you gonna have a relationship with somebody like that? Can't tell them nothing. Hell raisers unaccountable don't want to listen but then when a black man don't want to deal with somebody like this and he just so happened to go to somewhere else y'all upset because there's some people like this imagine you married to her you will lose everything you got dealing with her and so many black men have done that and then no matter what they still showing signs of immaturity this is not all women but this is some I know it that Tasha K spirit is a killer. And going around here playing all the time. Expecting a man to stick by you, be with you, take care of you. But you're going around here playing all the time. Like a little girl. Not being a woman. Being everything but a woman. And then wondering why you getting childish outcomes. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Pretty too far, you subscribe the bell. We're out.